foodies, welcome back to Cook with Beneath, where vegetarian food is made easy. Today we'll be making paneer burji, which is one of the simplest and easiest recipes to make, and it tastes so good. So if you would like to follow along, please continue watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For this recipe, I'm using fresh paneer, bell peppers, also known as shimla mercha and punjabi, sliced onions, one medium-sized tomato, two cloves of garlic, three to four green chilies, fresh coriander from my mom's garden, oil or butter, jeera, known as cumin seeds in English, red chili powder, kitchen king masala, I'll link it down below, haldi, also known as turmeric, red chili flakes, salt to taste, and spring onions from my mom's garden. For this recipe, I'm also using a wok and I'll put about two tablespoons of oil. And I'll start off by adding my jeera or cumin seeds and just frying those a little. And I'll add my sliced onions. I'll saute them until they turn a goldenish brown color. I'll add my garlic and my green chilies and I'll let those saute for about a minute or two. Next I'll add my bell peppers and you'll want these really soft because that's when it tastes the best. I use half a green bell pepper and half a red bell pepper. Next I added my medium sized tomato. And I'm just gonna cover it up and let the bell peppers soften a little. And I'll occasionally stir it. And then I'll add a tablespoon and a half of salt. And a tablespoon of haldi. And I'll just give that a stir. So you really want your haldi to cook because you don't want to have that powdery taste. And you just keep stirring it. And at this point you can change your flame to a medium. Next I'll add one tablespoon of red chili powder and we'll just blend that all in. When it starts sticking to the bottom, you can tell that it's ready. And then I added my paneer. I just crushed it. If you're using store-bought paneer, you definitely want to make sure it's shredded. Let me know if you would like a video on homemade paneer. And you just want to stir everything together. Next, I added a tablespoon of red chili flakes and a tablespoon of kitchen king masala. And you just stir it and your paneer burji is ready. So next I'll just garnish it with fresh spring onions and coriander. And the paneer burji is now ready to serve. It smells so good, I wish you guys could smell it. It not only looked and smelled good, but it tasted even better and it's so quick and easy to make. If you try this recipe out, please let me know how it goes in the comment section below. If you think someone else might enjoy this recipe, please don't forget to share it with them. And if you're not following me on my socials, it's at Cook with Beneath. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Take care.